What's going on everybody? So I am back today because every now and again there's a horror movie or a film that I get recommended for a really long time that I don't watch for some reason. And I'm not sure why I wait so long to watch some of these great movies. I'm guessing it's just because my watch list is ever extensive and it takes me a lot of time to get in the swing of watching a lot of these great films. And the spoopy season is quickly approaching. We're getting towards the very end of September. The beginning of October is probably when this video will be released. And I'm looking forward to talking about a lot of horror films in the month of October. It's one of my favorite seasons. I love talking about horror films. And this movie was absolutely incredible. And I cannot believe it took me this long to see it. And the film I'm gonna talk about today is A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night is directed by Anna Lily Amirpour. In the Iranian ghost town Bad City, a place that reeks of death and loneliness, the townspeople are unaware that they are being stalked by a lonesome vampire. So this truly is just one of the most unique vampire films I've ever watched and one of the most unique horror films I've ever seen. So as the title says, this film takes place in Iran and the film starts off by showing us this young guy who lives at home with his dad. He's clearly involved with some not really great people. His dad is addicted to heroin and he's trying to take care of his dad because he feels like he needs to be a good son and to take care of his family. But it's also having negative ramifications on his own life. He can't really live his own life because he's being tied down to his father. While at the same time simultaneously, you're giving this story of this drug dealer and his girlfriend who is seemingly abused and treated horribly if she's not doing exactly what's being told of her. And you have these two stories kind of being told simultaneously while at the same time you're introduced to this woman who simply is named The Girl, played by Sheila Vand, who is just moving around through the night. You see her interact with these people, but we're never given her name. We're just kind of shown how she's moving her way about town. She's constantly coming into contact with these bad people and kind of taking them out, but it's not necessarily that she's like enacting vengeance or sees herself as like Batman or something. It's more just like her cleaning up the place that she lives and it's really interesting because we're not really given the indication of how long she's been a vampire or how old she is but she does seemingly get sick of being stuck in this one place and her and Arash the young man I talked about from the beginning of the film come into contact with each other and they start to bond and they share and, and their love of music and just the idea of freedom from this place and and moving forward with their lives and at the at the core of this film you have this romance that seems to blossom but at the same time it's just these two people who see something in each other and it's really beautiful but aside from that story you also just have this really interesting vampire flick about this person who is you know undead and lives for an eternity who is like cleaning up the streets that they live in and I just thought that it was really fascinating all those things that are layered and the girl is really fascinated with music and when we go back to her apartment you see a lot of like band posters she's constantly playing music at the beginning of the film when she kills the first person that she kills she goes through their CD collection and I thought that was amazing and this film is shot in beautiful black and white cinematography which I think kind of makes it feel almost like a western at times especially with the score that accompanies this film it's very isolated there are very few characters in this movie and i think that really makes the story a lot more intimate and interesting i also saw some comments on letterbox that people compared a lot of the surrealist imagery in this to that of david lynch and i think there's a lot of validity in that i feel like there's some scenes in this where there's just some strange things happening on screen that can also be attributed to the ideas that the story are trying to convey but they're, they're never so out of place that it doesn't make sense like there's this scene of a specific character dancing at one point during the movie and I just I thought that this movie just really from the first frame sucks you in and you never want to leave this world and I respect filmmakers that can do this and I think it is so awesome to see a vampire flick 
that takes place in Iran. I mean, that's not something that you normally get. And what I found interesting was researching this online as the director wanted to shoot this film in Iran but wasn't able to. And so she ended up shooting it in LA but made it look like Iran. And I think she did a really phenomenal job. This movie really just has that feeling and it's really gritty and realistic. But it also has this fantastical nature to it because of the idea of vampires. And I love that like when you have a film about vampires especially when it's in black and white that the blood because you're not given red is this really dark color and it looks great contrasted against that sort of gray uh, color tone that goes throughout the rest of the film and I, I just really loved this movie it is so abstract and different but it also has a really simplistic through line narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seat throughout the movie and this is one that if you haven't seen it's streaming on Tubi and Shudder and a couple different streaming services right now just jump on and watch it it is one of the most unique films I've watched all year and this became an instant favorite for me I can see myself revisiting this one over and over over and over again and there's so many themes that can be explored I think the fascinating part about this is the correlation of like vampires drinking blood to survive and then this correlation between people having heroin addiction in this film and how once people get addicted to drugs that that drug is essentially there and it's the only way that they can survive and paralleling those two ideas I thought was really fascinating and the director did a really good job of juggling the two in the film and there's just a lot underneath the surface that I think you can really analyze if you sit down and play it through in your mind but I also think as a straightforward vampire flick this one is really great and you definitely definitely need to watch it. So have you seen A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. One of my favorite things I've watched all year and it's definitely going to be cemented as one of the core horror films that I'll recommend to people. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.